everything about the track. I think the sensation of being in the car is what I love the most. Just being focused is hard for me day to day, and so I'm always multitasking at jobs. I'm in a meeting answering an email or a text. When you're at the track, and especially when you're on the track driving, you're very focused. It is probably one of the few times in my life where I can actually just say that there's nothing else on my mind but the next corner, the next breaking point, the next turn in the spot. I would say there's never a fastest car on the track. We always say there's fast drivers and there's fast cars. And a fast driver will always beat a fast car. So um, we, it's always interesting to come out to a track there or being in a race because you come there, you see all the cars, and you go into it with an expectation of, oh, that looks fast, that looks fast. But it's not until you've been out on the track for a little while that you really sort out the who the fast drivers are versus the fast cars. And I'm always surprised uh, at how that turns out by the end of the day. I didn't realize when I first started racing the number of parallels there were really between what I do for a hobby racing and being a CIO. One of the reasons I started in technology and worked on it is I like the hardware aspect of technology. I mean, I started out as just an entry level person fixing computers, working on networks and things like that. So I like the mechanical side of technology. And then from technology that went into as I became a CIO, just experimenting with things, testing things, seeing what worked making things better, looking for the right technology or the right processes or the right people to surround yourself with that are going to make your organization run smoothly. The exact same things apply at the track. I will tell you no race car driver succeeds alone on the track. You've got a pit crew and you've got a mechanic. And then it really translates. You have to have a strategy and you have to execute on that strategy. And nobody wins every race they're in and so you're going to have failures. So you have to learn to accept failures. And you have to learn, well, what does that mean? And how do I learn from that failure? And then how do I turn that into excess heads? It's really calmed me down a lot at work and taking sort of the long view and viewing every experiment and whether it's a success or failure, applying that to the future. And I think it's really made a big difference in how I approach my job as a CIO. It's changed for me from that model where the CIO had to be the smartest, most knowledgeable, most credentialed person in the room to really a leader, a person with a vision, a person that can inspire other people, a person that can put the right group of people to pick the right partners. I've never won a race but that's okay. I learn something every time I'm at the track and I always have a good time. And I always come away feeling like uh, it's been a great day when I've been at the track.